Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today, Google just released Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, aka Nano Banana. It's a state-of-the-art image generation and editing model, and it basically enables you to blend multiple images into a single image or, you know, create consistent characters. So this, for example, is from Pietro Schirano, um, founder of, Co of, of Magic Path, and basically you have this original image of him right over here, and then um, he added this this t-shirt right here, right? And basically you can add this t-shirt just like this. You can see kind of, I think the only things that change are there's some things in the background being, you know, missing, like this guy walking. And he also said it's basically like a 3D world model or creates a 3D world model. So you can see you have this like little Pokemon guy over here and it basically creates a 3D mesh around the, the main figure. And I've seen a bunch of things being created like like this right here where you get an original image and you can create different generations of of yourself in, in different generations of the past right here, like the 1970s or like the 1990s. This is another great example of consistent characters. And we also have something like this where you have a specific product and you can place it in a scene. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to get this Gemini 2.5 flash. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to get this API and I want to create some type of prototype using this API and kind of show you the process of how easy that is. And before we dive into that, I'd love to invite you all to my Discord server where a bunch of different founders, uh, developers, designers from all over the world that get together every single weekday. And we talk about different challenges in our lives, uh, different tools that are coming out like this one. We talk about different workflows, uh, different potential ideas for my YouTube videos. So if you guys are interested in meeting me and meeting the others in my community and, you know, chatting via Google Meet, feel free to join the Discord server down below. Link is down in the description. And this is a great example of what I mean, right? You can upload one image of a guy sitting down on a chair and another image of some, some cool shoes. And you can tell, tell the AI to basically make this guy wear the shoes and then voila, you get this. But anyways, one important thing to kind of keep in mind is also you have to add your Gemini API key in order for this to actually work. And in order to find that, you have to go to your Google AI Studio, and then you can create an API key up here. And then what we can do is we can open Magic Path. So that's where this specific project was built, right? Magic Path, which I think is like in my personal opinion, the best uh, AI design tool out there. And it's great because it gives you like this Figma look and feel where you have an infinite canvas and you can basically create designs with AI and you can go ahead and manually edit those designs and you can also combine your different designs. So let's say you have one design over here, another design over here. You can basically mention the component two into component one and it creates a combination. I have some good videos about that. So let's actually try to copy this first design. So we have, um, we have this, right? And I can just take a screen. So let's actually try to copy this design, right? So we, it's called Vision Studio, but the main thing is that we have a primary subject and a second item. And you want, you have this creative vision as well with this input, and then you have this API configuration settings where you can enter your, your API key. And then once you click on enter, once you upload these two images and you click on enter, it generates an image for you. So anyways, here in the, in the Google AI studio, you have the sidebar over here and you can play around with, with flash 2.5 by clicking on generate media. And we can go ahead and click on this over here, Gemini native image. Just go ahead and click on that. And we have these different presets, design a, a birthday card, show me different logos, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into a tool like mid journey and look for an image. So we can look for like a scary alley image, maybe something, let's say, maybe something like this would be good. And we can save this image. And then we can go in here and we can attach that image. We can say something like add a golden doodle in the middle of the road. Click on run. And we basically get the same background image with the golden doodle over here. And we can even combine two images. So I'm gonna, let's say that we keep this, this alley image and we get this image of this cute little dog. And we go back into the Google AI studio and we upload those two images and we can say something like, put the dog in the middle of the alleyway. 
And what do we get? We get our scary alleyway and our cute little pup in the middle, right? Exactly the same images, perfect combination. It even adds a shadow, as you can see. So this is a quick little example of what you can do in the actual Google AI Studio, but what can you do with this API key and maybe vibe code some type of app using the same type of logic here? Well, inside of Magic Path, we can go ahead and do just that, right? We can ask Magic Path basically with the chat to create a Vision Studio type of app where we have a primary subject and we have a secondary item and we can combine these items and basically use text to, to customize this creative visual and then basically click enter and we have this visual that we created based on that text prompt and of those two images. So I can go ahead and submit or paste in my API from Google Gemini. I can add another image of a, of a room like this, another scary room and another image of a cute little dog. And we can say place the dog in the middle of the room and press enter to generate. So let's just do that. And we just have to wait for the results. And then eventually after a couple of seconds with the API doing its magic in the back end, we get our results of the dog in the room. Well, inside of the Google AI Studio, we also have some other examples. Like down here, we have this explore past forward and you can upload an image of yourself. So I'm just going to upload it like a profile image of myself. Boom, right over here and click on generate. And we start to get some images of me in the different eras. So over here, back in the, in the old days, 1950s, 1970s, I like the 1970s look actually. Uh, 2000s looks pretty, pretty funky. Um, like, I like the, the hairstyle, right? We have the 1980s up, up here with the mullet. Um, we have the Beatles style haircut, um, but you know, the smile keeps on being consistent just like the clothes, the background, the, the lighting, the hairstyle obviously changes, which is really impressive. You can also use Gemini 2.5 Flash to basically draw something and bring it to life. So let's say like I want to draw maybe a face. Let's see how good my face is going to look like. And add your change, make him, make him wear a cap, I guess. And boom, we, we get this, right? So we get, uh, we get our little SpongeBob guy wearing a cap. I we'll put place a cat next to him and we get our little cat. And we can try home canvas, which is also very interesting. We can upload a product and upload a scene. So in this case, I'm going to, so, and I guess this is pretty much the same as what, as that magic path app that we were looking at before. So it's like very similar to, to what we saw here. So I'm going to put this big red button and the scene. So let's go ahead and see if this actually does it. So we can drag the red button over here. Wow. Look at that. And we get, wow, look at that. It's so it understands the image like the, the actual dimensions of the image and it puts it in the scene and it keeps the same type of image style. In this case, this was like a, like a cartoon and I added it to this realistic image and it keeps that cartoon style, but it keeps that realistic scene background. And we also get AI powered photo editing simplified. And as you can see, I mean, the design is very kind of like, it looks very like AI generated uh, here in the Google AI uh, studio. But I mean, if you use something like Magic Path, you can get the same type of results, but with a different, better type of design, right? You can add your, your own type of design system. You can, you know, grab existing designs from the Magic Path community and kind of remix it to, to fit this with the API. So here I can upload an image of myself and I can like retouch certain things. Let's say that I want to retouch my, my hair, change my shirt color to blue. Okay, so we can select certain things, maybe change my hair color to blue. Let's go ahead and click on generate. And wow, we get our blue hair. So very quick. And then we can select my shirt and I can say, make me wear a pink polo shirt. Click on generate. Boom. And we get our pink polo shirt with our blue hair. And we can download the image and I can just op open the image like this. And it's me with my blue hair and with my pink shirt. And the last one, this is called Gem, Gem Booth. So I'm gonna allow the camera to start recording and we get me over here and we can make me as a cartoon. You can make me look at, like a statue and as a Renaissance painting. And look at that, look how crazy that is. This is the, the cartoon. You can see my, my door in the background. You can see, and this is the statue one. 
I look like a marble statue with with real hair, which is pretty cool. And it keeps my 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 polo shirt on, which is great. And then we have the Renaissance painting, which is amazing. It does change the background. I don't really have this this beautiful Italian um, looking background, uh, but I I do have the same look, right? I, I made this this face with my eyes open. And we get look, something looking like this. Anyways, you can get this technology and using Magic Path to create a nice custom UI that's branded for your for your own business or for your own liking. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what types of ideas we can build in the future. And again, feel free to share your ideas in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video today. And I hope to see you next time. All right. Thank you so much. Goodbye.